Understanding the solubility of different cement compounds is crucial, but also understanding how these compounds interact and how they uh, intertwine in the cement matrix is important. As you can see in this picture, the very inset inside the circle is a top view looking down at pool plaster. Those are grains of sand, and right around each grain of sand we have the ITZ, interfacial transition zone, and they're all white. That white product is the calcium hydroxide. Uh, calcium hydroxide fills in all these ITZs, these craze cracks, these fissures, these gaps. This is where calcium hydroxide lives. This is the very basic DNA of all cement product. We can't change that. That is actually uh, calculated and depended on by engineers when they're figuring out structural properties of cement. All around that you have the calcium silicate hydrates, the much harder, denser product. Uh, the bigger picture is a cross-section pool plaster and you can see large chunks of aggregate with a little white line around it. That white line is an ITZ, again filled with calcium hydroxide. On the left you see larger white aggregate. The little pins and needles coming off of that inside the uh, interfacial transition zone represents the calcium hydroxide product. And then you see the larger little boat bird nest like dark clumps around that. That's the calcium silicate hydrate. That's what it looks like in an artist's rendition. Uh, to the picture to the right is you see a large uh, piece of aggregate surrounded by large flaky masses of calcium hydroxide, very soluble compounds. Uh, and components of the mix, and then the outside denser, flatter areas of the calcium silicate hydrate. Gives you a good idea what that looks like down at the microstructure. Here's an even smaller look. A uh, big flaky middle clump is calcium hydroxide. Very porous, very loose leaf, very disorganized structure, and very soluble. The uh, background around that is the calcium silicate hydrate. Much more organized, much harder, much denser. Also, you can see in this spa, this is a colored plaster job, a lot of the spots uh, forming on the benches, the walls, and on the floor, but also around the tile lines. You see where the plaster comes up to that tile. You have an ITZ completely filled up with calcium hydroxide right at that ITZ zone, and this water in here is actually etching and dissolving away. Where you take it down to a closer look, where the plaster matrix touches the plastic fitting around the main drain, again, you have a region that's rich in calcium hydroxide by its natural formation, and the water is leaching that out first and turning it white through the etching process. In this picture, you see an older plaster job that has been underwater for quite a long time. And uh, where the calcium hydroxide is at the surface, which it naturally is, the aggressive water is dissolving the calcium where it comes into contact with the water. It's filling in around, naturally around the little craze cracks and fissures around the aggregates and it's slowly being leached out and this is the natural appearance. This is a cosmetic failure. Uh, people see this in a plaster job. They're not happy about it. As you can see under this floater, which has uh, cyanuric acid in there, directly underneath where that sits, it was so aggressive it started dissolving all the compounds down. That's what we call more of a uniform etch. And as the water got away from that one little area and localized, you can see spot etching around it where it was more diluted.